Hey, this is Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. And the question I got asked just now is, my Google activity for me and me alone, or can other people access it? And I'm gonna show you what your Google activity is all about, and where it's managed in this video. But before I do, hit that subscribe and the notify button, because I create all of this content for you. So your Google activity is um, managed and to some degree collected under your My Google account page. You get to that by going to, you know, manage your Google account right here. Now you can get to that a couple different ways. I can go to the sprocket and go to settings. And in settings, I can go to accounts and I can go to other Google accounts, which is basically go to my Google, excuse me, my account.google.com. Now data and privacy. Here it is right here and that is your history setting, your web activity, your location history, and your YouTube history. You can see and delete all your activity you want to, and you can go look at it and see what, what it shows. And you can also, if you want to, you can very deliberately decide that you want to turn it off. Right here, I can turn off. And I can pause it. They want to use the word pause because they want you to turn it back on again. So again, I can go back to any, any one of these options. Location history, I can pause it. YouTube history, pause it. Now you can go look at your activity right here. And you see on May 18th, this is the, the data that was collected about me when I visited different sites, the 17th. And then again, if I want to, I can delete it all. Delete all. All the time. And I can decide to delete any or any of these 12 products of data here. And just hit next and delete. And it's all gone. So there's no history here for me to look at. Again, go back to the top page, data and privacy. And right here, history settings. This is your activity, web activity, location, YouTube history. You can turn it on, each one of these off. I didn't turn that off. Let me turn that off. Hit pause. Hit got it. Go back to the page before, and I can scroll down here. I can turn off my YouTube history, turn it off. Yes, please pause it. I got it. And I can go back, and now you can see that's all turned off. Now, who can use this? It's not going to be used by anybody other than Google. Google systems are going to use that data. The words that they use, and you can discover what that is under the privacy statement. Your data, why did Google collects data? You, you can watch this video again. You can go to policies.google.com slash privacy. Throughout this privacy statement, you'll see we use the information we collect to customize our services for you, including providing recommendations, personalized content, customized search results, et cetera, et cetera. They, tr they, they are stating they're trying to make your experiences on all Google platforms better based on the data they collect about you. And I get it. Maybe they do. Predominantly, my opinion, not stated in this privacy statement, is they're using this information to put the best possible ads in front of us with the hopes that we'll click on those ads so they can create ad revenue, period. My opinion is not stated in this, in this policy, privacy policy. Bottom line, your content, uh, your activities that are collected through your myaccount.google.com right here is information that Google collects and uses to create the best Google experiences for you. Manage this here and you'll get the best value out of, of some, to some level of privacy. And I would encourage you to read through all of this and see what all of these options are, and most specifically the security options. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. Always read your privacy statements.